This is the most exciting project I've ever been a part of. Texas is one of the home of innovators. We have world-renowned medical centers and companies are here building rockets and testing self-driving trucks. So when a researcher with decades of experience says something is the most exciting project that he's ever been a part of, it makes you pay attention. That's why we sent our David Littman to find out how the humble peanut could become a big source of fuel for the state's economy. Texas is famous for its wide open highways and the trucks that carry all the things we rely on to get through the day. Diesel engines are everywhere you look and John Kaysen it's hard to see right now. is bringing them back to their roots. There's different plots. Chevron is interested in starting a new, basically a whole new industry. And the company hopes that industry sprouts from these fields. Texas is second in the country when it comes to peanut production. Here in Stephenville, about 60 miles southwest of Fort Worth, researchers with Texas A&M are working on something big related to that little legume. It won't change the way we eat, but it could change the way we drive. Well, the peanuts that we're gonna grow are gonna be crushed for, uh, crushed for oil and then taken to refineries to be refined into aviation fuel or renewable diesel. Kaysen leads the peanut breeding program for Texas A&M AgriLife. Chevron is giving Kaysen's team millions of dollars to create a peanut that's genetically ideal for converting into fuel. Rudolph Diesel, I don't know if you've ever heard that name, but he created the diesel engine and when he premiered that at the World's Fair in 1900, it was running off of peanut oil. and. Uh, Petroleum kind of came on the scene sometime around that and, and uh, plant-based fuels kind of went to the wayside. But I think they, in the future, I think they're going to become more and more important. Most of the peanuts grown in the U.S. are meant to be eaten, but that's just four of the 87 varieties that exist. And you can find most of them inside the greenhouses in Stephenville. Some of the wild varieties already have a high oil content, but you can't farm them and mass produce them. And that's where the A&M team comes in. Our hope is we can find something in that wild collection by doing an extensive screening and identify something that's high and use it to cross into cultivated peanut to really get the percentage up. If you can get more oil out of the peanuts, that's good for Chevron. But Kaysen has 22 team members working with him on this project so they can make it worthwhile for farmers too. In my uh, estimation this could be huge for not only peanut production in Texas but also just agriculture in general. Texas only trails Georgia for peanut production. Now they get 48 inches of rain a year so uh, not quite the same as here here in central Texas we get 35 out southwest of Lubbock they get more like 12. So Kaysen wants to make this high performing peanut drought resistant especially for all the farmers in West Texas where water is becoming scarce and expensive. It's becoming pretty critical. And so in the next 20 years, we're, we're facing a water shortage where we're looking at how are we going to maintain the production levels that we have. And if they succeed, Kaysen and his team will have made a crop that could flourish and take root all over the state. When I first found out about this project about a year ago, I mean, I, I've laid awake many nights since then thinking about all the possibilities of, and what this could mean for peanut producers, but also just you know, Texas ag in general. And those possibilities will drive him to create the peanut that gets tractors and tractor trailers moving. In Stephenville, David Lippman, CBS 19. David, thanks for that report. Chevron's contract with Texas A&M AgriLife runs for five years. Kaysen predicts it will take five to seven years before he has the right genetic mixture and enough seeds of it for its farmers to plant his new peanut. You know, something I thought that was very interesting yeah. is that we're the second leading in the nation for peanut production. I had no idea. Yeah, it's incredible. And it's also incredible that they can turn peanut into fuel. So definitely something worth following up on in the future. Right, and hopefully for more rain too. Yeah, definitely. <laughs>